Hi right, everybody, today I'm going to show you the quick and easy way how to set up a um, dual cap terminal. Specifically, I will be using the one, this one. So in the description, I will have the link here, and this one I'll be using. Alright. So, to start, I loaded up a game. So, just to prove, let me just close this studio, let me reopen studio, so I have the idea. And actually, no, in fact... Yeah, so I'm gonna open this thing because that's really all I have. All right, now I have two spawns. Really set up, you got two spawn points, which you can just um add a spawn right here. You just add two of them, and then you name them. So you got this thing, this thing. Then you also add the two teams, then you name them. Now, if we don't know how to set up a um spawn specific, a team specific spawn, basically you take your two spawn points. And then you match it up with a color, with the team color of each one. So I got MEC to match with MEC spawn, and I got not MEC to match with not MEC spawn. I made sure that the colors are the same. So the team spawn for not MECs, but um, Sienna. So that would match up with this. Alright. Now, the next point, we got add in the model. Now, it is a model. So I'm going to look up Marty in my thing. Alright. So I have two of them. This one is a st traditional Marty terminal. So when you open it, it, it like pops here. So I need to go back to my thing, which is over here. Now, this is the quote-unquote free version. So you open this up. This is what you see. You don't want to touch this because this allows admin privileges. This allows the terminal to actually function what it needs to do. And it has a default um, script that leads to a separate thing outside from your game to make it work. But you can just go to this link right here, which I will also link in the description, to get the full version. And that's what we're going to do. Now, you, the full version and this normal version both works the same way. It's just the full version allows you a little bit more room. Like, you can edit the UI and stuff, and you can add in your own um, textures and things. That's what the full version does. If you want to just make it quick and easy, do that one. But anyways, this is how you set it up. So you have the terminal core. It's important that you put this terminal core into server script. Server script, service. All right. Because now what this does is that this, any script in here goes to a server write, um, it's server write, basically. So essentially anything you do would not override the server script, as the script itself is based on the server, not client. So when you open it up, you get a main module, which is just tells you with the terminal and search up, and um, you can do this later on, I will show you how to add like your own admin and shit. So this is terminal stuff. You can um, edit the values of the rollback. If we add a rollback function, you can do all these things. This is a bunch of scripting nonsense. But we're talking about setting up today. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close this. Bop. Because commands. I'm gonna. I'm gonna close that too. All right. So you open up the general settings and group settings. Now, the first thing you gotta do, you gotta link up your terminal with some things. So, I'm going to go to Team 1. Now, Team 1 would be your quote-unquote defending team. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on value. Then, I when I click on value, I'm going to go over here and click on MAC. So, now, what this does is that for the terminal, they understand that anyone that comes from this spawn or any other spawn to MAC series will link up to team one you do the same thing in t2 so you click on team two click on value and click on the other team like that so now the terminal will recognize both these spawns as separate teams for the terminal next thing you want to do is term part so we need to add a terminal so let's say you already have a brick for a terminal i'm just going to add in a brick and i'm just going to like expand it so let me just make it bigger and move it and let me anchor it there you go so now this is a part so I'm, I'm just gonna rename this for clarity terminal part all right so with the terminal point 
and once so you can add your own terminal make it all customized and all the stuff now you click on term part value and then you click on the brick make sure it's on the explorer side not in the game side boom so now t terms are set up teams are set up and now over here you want to do id so since let's say for example i'm going to do based on my group mesmer so i'm going to head to my group and i am going to copy the id here and i am going to paste it there didn't talk about HR role, which if you have this connected to a group, you want to do it with the group admin number. So for the clarity, if for my group, I would put it as um, 20, but just because it's on my own server, it's not connected to Mesmer anyway, I'm just going to put one. Because this, the parent group settings is inside the terminal core itself, and that is going to link up with the um, thing. Now, over here, custom message. So when you lose, when you win, or when you start it, you can just type in your own message here. So I'm going to do like poo poo. So start poo poo one. And win poo poo two. All right, just be like that. All right, it's a rule. Now we're all good. Mm -hmm. So now, what are you going to do? We should be good to spawn. So I'm going to play. Now, as you can see, this spawn is for MAC only. But if I T myself and I reset myself, I'll go to this spawn. So it is correct. Now, the actual term itself is kind of tricky. So you can have normal, which I which you just play around the settings, so it'd be your traditional terminal. But most of the time, they're just basically for dual cap or a fade. These two is basically the same thing, but except with fade, um, if you capture it, the enemy team's points will actually decay. All right. So we're gonna stick with dual cap. You can change it. So I'm, I'm gonna do like 20 points, 60 minutes, increase by one, decrease by one. Capture speed, we're good. Yeah, I'm going to keep it normal. Because you're not roll back, so it only applies to roll back. So now, over time, yes, always have it over time enabled. Unless you want to be scummy, don't. You know, some people group do that. Radar cap only, off. You want to do radar cap only, um, in like a very specific tonal setting. But you usually don't want to do it most of the time. Then, the rated group ID. So you go to a different group who's rating. So let's say it's going to be um, Night, in, Nightfall Clan. So I'm going to copy NFC's ID. And I will paste it in game. You would do this in game. Then I'm going to load the terminal. So now we got Mesmer MSC 2020. We're all good. And then to start it, do a cap. Here, start. Tax is right there. If I stand on the term as NFC, it's going to count it. But if I T myself M, it caps. Now there are some settings you can mess around that allows it so it doesn't um, cap as you cap. And you can just play around saying it is there. But when you win, It's going to pop up. Hey. And you're in the game. Pretty cool. And that's how you set it up. Have a good day.